So, this is a video on how to refresh the old Kinsetta wig. So, if you like it, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So in the first clip, you're going to see me boiling some regular hot water. Then you're just going to see me pouring it on two different wigs, a black wig and a white wig. And you need the water extremely hot because that will help bring out the straightness that you want. So in this clip, you'll see me going in with a two-on-one moisturizing shampoo. And that's the best to use because you're going to get a deep cleansing and you're going to get moisture in the hair. And you need to apply that from the rooter to the tutor. And make sure you focus on the ends because that's what all the frizziness is really going to be at. So just, you'll see me squeezing it in the hair and just running my fingers down it. So I want to make sure everything's clean because you might have product built up in it. I don't know why you would. But if you put some type of essential oil in it, it's going to be a product build up. So you just want to make sure you wash all that out. And if you straighten the hair, you want to get just all that stuff out of it so it'll be like brand new so you'll basically see me going in doing the same exact thing with the blonde wig but it's a shorter wig so you really don't have to do as much to bobs as you would if it was longer hair so it's not going to take me as long like i've mentioned before bob wigs is going to be the easiest for you to fix and you'll see me about to blow dry it so i can help get it straighter and dry like you, that's all you really need to do is blow dry this and then the wig will be brand new. You don't need to put heat on this, which is why I didn't. And you're just going to see me focus on the ends a lot because that's where like my problem areas were. Like Everything else in the wig was fine. Just focus on the ends and put like an essential oil, like a little bit of argan oil on it and help it give it some shininess. It won't make it heavy. You'll still have flow and bounce with it. So in this clip, you're seeing me blow dry the wig. It's still very damp. Like I literally just washed all the shampoo and stuff out. So you'll see me blow drying it like I mentioned earlier. Put your oil on it. Make sure you focus on the ends. Like with this particular wig, the ends were the worst part for me. Because it had really started looking real raggedy and we can't have that. So after all the blow drying, you'll see this is how the wig looks just after just blow drying. I haven't done nothing else to it. And it still looks just brand new like I took it out the package. Look at the ends there. From the beginning, you'll see a total big difference. So that's why I love this process of doing it. It's way easier and not time consuming at all. Okay, so this is nighttime. So you have two different methods you could do. You could braid the hair up. Or you get two toilet tissue rolls and roll the hair in it and clip it up out the way and then just put a bonnet on it and just let it go and it'll be fine and then like <clears throat> i just let the wig sit i didn't do anything that's why it's looking real crazy but after you brush it it go to looking normal and how it's supposed to be and if you can see i had a little bend just from that toilet tissue roll so that helped the hair like all be uniform together so if you have any other methods that you use to revive your synthetic wigs, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Watch